Hey everyone and welcome to the notes for today. So today we're going to be using Notability and we're going to open up our quarter one science notebook. So your notebook should look like mine <clears throat> with uh, all your important vocabulary, your characteristics of living things, questions you have about coronavirus. So we're going to take some notes here in Notability today. So to get set up today, I'd like you to go to a fresh page on your Notability. So you can do that just by scrolling down or on the side, you can tap on a new screen like that. And uh, we want that just so that when we get more vocabulary, we can put it in and it won't get messed up. Uh, your notebook might be set up slightly differently and that's okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is put in a title here for our note is levels of organization. So in organisms, things are set up kind of in the same way. Uh, if you have more than one cell, your body is set up basically the same way. So, and we call that the levels of organization. So as we learned in our last unit, the smallest level of any living thing is a cell. So let's draw a cell here on the side, this one is an animal cell. I'm gonna make my nucleus just a little bit bigger. <laughs> uh, but this one is an animal cell. So we're gonna label that, and I'm gonna use my magnifying option here to help me do that so it looks nice and neat. And I'm gonna change my pencil so it's a little bit smaller. So this is a, a cell, and it is the building block building block of all living things and an example of that would be like a lung cell so we're gonna say EX for example and then we're gonna say a lung cell All right, so cells are the basic building blocks of all living things, and cells make up this next part, the next uh, smallest unit of organization in the human body or in any organism, and that is tissue. So tissue kind of looks like this. It's a bunch of cells that work together. So let's put that in, let's put that definition in. So we'll move our magnifying box down a little bit. And this is an example of, oh, I wanna make my pencil smaller, sorry. This is an example of tissue. And again, this isn't like a tissue like what you blow your nose with, um, but a tissue is a group of similar cells that work together. So working together to perform a specific function. So in the lungs, you have all kinds of tissues You've got some tissue where their job is to absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. You've got tissue whose job is to provide protection. You've got tissue that uh, has a job to provide structure and keep your trachea open. So you've got lots of different types of tissue in your lungs and they're all made of cells. So an example we're gonna say is lung tissue. That's how, what we're going to call it. So cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs. So let's draw an organ. We're going to draw the lungs and it's okay if this isn't like beautiful because it's just your notes. Um, the only other person who's going to see it is me. So your lungs kind of look like um, 
kind of look like this. So they're, well, they're not exactly flat on the bottom, but they have two lobes. Uh, we have a top lobe and a bottom lobe. And you got two of them, so let's put them in. They're sort of, I don't know, like a flat teardrop shape? <laughs> I'm not sure uh, how you would describe that. So let's label this organ. So cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs. And an organ is a group of different tissues working together to perform a specific function. So like I said before, There's a lot of different types of tissue inside your lungs, and they all work together to make your lungs. So even though you have different tissues, um, some are for structure, some are for lining, some are for actually doing the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange, but you have a lot of tissues and they all work together in your lungs to uh, help your lungs do their job, which is uh, to exchange gases with the environment. So your lungs are not alone. Your lungs work with different organs like your trachea and your pharynx and your nose and your mouth to help them do the job. So we call all of those organs working together an organ system. So this wiggly line, that's your trachea. This. Uh, this is like the nose right here and the mouth. It's uh, again, not beautiful, but we're getting the, getting the point across. So let's put the lungs on. The, this person's lungs are really close to their mouth. So I'm gonna <laughs> move that down just a little. There we go. Put our lobes in there. All right, so that is an organ system well, that's an organ system. So let's label it the organ system here. Make that a little smaller. So an organ system, you can probably guess, is a group of different organs working together. working together to perform a specific function. So we have cells making up tissue, tissue making up organs, organs making up organ systems. And our example for this organ system is called the respiratory system. The respiratory system is the system that includes your lungs and your trachea, and it helps you breathe. It helps you do that gas exchange that is uh, vital to being alive. So I'm gonna move some of these over because there is something I wanna put last, and that is what you get when you put all of your organ systems together. So last part of this is an organism. So a group of organ systems working together makes an organism. So my organism, because I drew a human respiratory system, my organism is gonna be a human. And I just draw little jelly bean people. You can make yours look however you want, but mine is just a little jelly bean guy. <laughs> You're pretty cute. And uh, let's write our definition of organism over here. 
So an organism is a group of organ systems working together. Uh, also known as any living thing. A group of organ systems working together. And an example of that, like we said, is, uh, you know, is a human uh, or a cat. Great. So uh, now we've got our notes. You can color these if you like. Um, and it's helpful sometimes to think of things in terms of an analogy. So an analogy is a way of thinking about something that puts it, something unusual that puts it in terms that are like every day. So if you were gonna explain your levels of organization, you might think of a cell. Let's take our box over here to cell. So our example was a lung cell and a lung cell, you can kind of think of that as like a brick. Bricks are building blocks um, and, they are, and they build up buildings. So if we had a bunch of bricks together, that's kind of like a wall, a wall. And a wall is a very specific structure in your house, but it's not the only one, right? You also have like floors, you have uh, doors, things like that. So those would be different types of tissue. And if you have a bunch of walls and floors and doors and windows, then you have a house. So an organ is kind of like a house if a tissue is kind of like a wall and a cell is kind of like a brick. So if you have a bunch of houses together, then you have a neighborhood, kind of like the West End or Cathedral Hill um, or the West Side. So a bunch of houses together makes a neighborhood and a bunch of walls and doors and floors makes a house and a bunch of bricks can make a wall. And lastly, if you have a lot of neighborhoods together, then you have a city. So these purple words on the bottom here, those are an analogy, and you're gonna need to make some of your own analogies in our assignment today. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have fun coloring your cells and making your notes look really beautiful. I'm gonna practice getting good at coloring here on uh, Notability. But uh, feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to to get your notes today and have a great afternoon.